What's up, everybody? Noah Kizer back here for my review of the brand new Great American Family Christmas film, the first one from Candace Cameron Bure. This is all about Maggie and Eric, who are a married couple who are busy parents of teenagers who embark on a trip to the home of Maggie's widowed brother to celebrate Christmas. Everyone has different expectations of, of the perfect holiday. Through a series of transformative events, Maggie must learn to embrace the season. She basically takes over the house. She takes over the Christmas season. She has things that she wants to do, and she does not really care about what they want to do, about what her widowed brother wants to do with his daughter. This is a family drama that is a religious-esque film. It has religious moments in it, and it's nicely done. I mean, they don't hit you over the head with it like a pure flicks film sometimes does. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy a good pure flicks film when it's done well, or a good Christian film when it's done well. I enjoy it, I still believe. I enjoy I'm in love with the church girl. That's a good one. I enjoy Joyful Noise, if you count that. A Christmas present is probably the film that everyone was looking forward to the most this year from GAC Family. And what they did with this film, they made the lead character of Maggie, played by Candace Cameron Bure, so unlikable, and she doesn't even try to redeem herself. She tries, but it's not a great attempt. It's a film where you have an unlikable character, so you're not having the best time watching it, but the family dynamic is so well done and so well written that you're just intrigued with this film. It's a film I, I was intrigued by. I enjoy this movie. I do. I like it. I'm giving it three and a half stars. But what this film should have done better is if you really wanted to do something like this, take this character out of what you have her doing. Take this story out of it. Give me a film like a Seventh Heaven. Because I believe Se Seventh Heaven, it's about a pastor. It's about a pastor and his, uh, and his family, I think. You could have done that. You could have done a story about her being a pastor's wife and trying to come up with something to do big for Christmas because this could be the church's la last Christmas. You could have done that. They don't hammer you over the head with scripture. Every once in a while, does it fit? Not really. It's kind of just shoved in there from point, uh, from point to point, from time to time. But I enjoyed this overall. A Christmas present is definitely a good film, I think, but not one I see myself watching every single year, but one I can see myself enjoying maybe every other year, maybe every year if my family wants to watch it, but it's nothing amazing. A Christmas present does deliver on a couple other things as well. You have nice emotional moments when it comes to them actually doing sweet things for the widowed, not for the widowed mother, like m making an angel, for instance. That's done in there. There's moments here where they explore uh, the kids, well, Maggie and her brother's childhood, telling stories. That was a nice, fun time. There was bits of comedy in there. You're giving me character development. You're giving me other things. But Candace Cameron Bray was so unlikable, it bumped this down an, an immense lot for me. I'm going to go with a three and a half out of five for this one, adding up to a B on my schedule. Schedule. Uh, on my scale, maybe even a B minus. Not 100% sure, but there you go, everybody. There's my review of a Christmas present, and I will see all of you guys next time for a lot more Christmas reviews. And we will be having one more film from Candace Cameron Bray, this time as a producer with Christmas on Candy Cane Lane with her good friend Andrea Barber. I will see all of you guys next time.